everybody welcome back to the active controls YouTube channel today I'm gonna to be installing the finished product of the active start wired Bluetooth soft starter for home units as well as RV air conditioning we have a smaller one uh, you've seen the previous video I'm not gonna show the whole installation but you will see this running I'm gonna do a pre um, measurement like I did last time so you see what the units doing right now it's a cooler day I don't expect the numbers to be really high but you should still see the same uh, reduction in inrush current that you've seen before um, I'd like to show you the importance of this unit as you zoom in we have just like our uh, plug-and-play unit we have a QR code for the Bluetooth security so it can only be paired with your device also on this unit you will see a small little hole here which i've added to this design from the testing and what i've also noticed in other uh, competitive parts uh, here in florida we have a lot of humidity if you were here you'd see all the water on the unit itself outside on the unit i had running in the house when i took the cover off i actually had water inside the unit from condensation condensation happens naturally because of the humidity the high humidity so I put a drain uh, I've seen units in the past in my career that would come in with water inside of it and we always wondered why well it's condensation people uh, my unit at least has a little drain so it's very important the correct orientation of this device whether it's in an RV or on a residential the wire should always be down this comes with a 30 inch harness okay which gives plenty of wire to be able to install this in various locations in the unit now we're going to do the pre-measurement mm -hmm. okay everybody now i'm turning on the ac using my app and we're going to see what the current inrush current is when the unit turns on There's always a delay with these things. Okay. You will see this, this has not been uh, running. So we had an inrush current of 73 point three amps that's a cold start 73.3 amps now we're gonna reinstall the soft start and let's see what we get okay everybody as in my previous video it's very important that you follow the wiring diagram of your unit paying attention to the start winding the run winding and the power now our units come with available with the unit. Of course, we're going to send you some sheet metal screws so you can screw it on. But we also, as I previously said before, it will come with a double-sided uh, tape. As I'm using here, it's just stuck to the unit because I take my unit on and off so often for testing and evaluation to see how things are going on. It's got a, a tape and it's holding it very nicely. Again, paying attention that the wires are down, not up. Okay, everybody, uh, right now we're going to showcase the app. The unit is off. As you can see, everything is zero. I've added it, added the device, but now we're going to see what it does. Right now it's set up to only connect when the unit turns on. I will have follow-up video showing how to wire it up with the unit um, always showing working with the app. Now we're going to take... Uh, the measurements of the unit starting after the installation. The device is still connected. 
I'm about the middle of my house. I'm gonna walk into the kitchen. The, one of the farthest points you'll be away. As you can see, we're still connected with the Bluetooth. It's still green, meaning connected. Put the operation of the unit. Had a start previously of 73.3 amps. Now we just had a start of 15.54. That's a difference of 57.76 amps. And when we do the math, that's a difference or that's a reduction of 79%, almost 80. The best on the market. Active controls. Thank you.